The East Indian Railway Company, also known as the East Indian Railway Air, introduced railways to eastern and northern India, while the companies such as the Great Indian Peninsula Railway, South Indian Railway, Central India Railway, and the Northwestern Railway operated in other parts of India. The company was established the 1st of June 1845 in London by a deed of settlement with a capital of four million pounds, largely raised in London. Topic: 1845 to 1849. The first board of directors formed in 1845 comprised 13 members, and Roland MacDonald Stevenson became the first managing director of the company. Roland MacDonald Stevenson, later Sir Roland, but familiarly known as MacDonald Stevenson, and three assistants travelled from England in 1845 and, with diligence and discretion surveyed, statistically studied and costed the potential traffic for a railway route from Calcutta the then commercial capital of India to Delhi via Mirzapur. They assessed that the maximum cost of a twin track line would not exceed £15,000 per mile if the land was available without charge. The East Indian Railway Company was then formed and raised money in London. A contract was signed between the East India Company and the East Indian Railway Company on 17 August 1849, entitling the latter to construct and operate an experimental line between Calcutta and Rajmahal, 161 km 100 miles long at an estimated cost of £1 million which would be later extended to Delhi via Mirzapur. Topic. 1850–1851 On 7 May 1850, the East Indian Railway Company's managing director MacDonald Stevenson, George Turnbull, the company's chief engineer, and the engineer Slater made an initial survey from Howrah across the River Hooghly from Calcutta, to Burdwan on the route to the Ranaganj coalfields. By June, there was an impasse, in that the government did not allow Turnbull and his engineers to mark a route on the ground. Specifications for works were however advertised on 1 July and tenders received on 31 July for six contracts. Bamboo towers 80 feet 24 meters tall were then built above the palm trees at Sarampore and Balikal to set out the line. Topic eighteen fifty one to eighteen fifty three. On 29 January 1851 the East Indian Railway Company took possession of its first land. Turnbull and other British engineers began detailed surveys of the line. They chose the critical crossing point on the 5,000-foot-wide Sun River the largest Ganges tributary on 17 February. The best route to Ranaganj was determined in May and June. The plans for Howrah Station were submitted on 16 June. Tenders for 11 contracts arrived on 31 October 1851. In December Turnbull continued his survey, he took levels and defined the line from Burdwan to Rajmahal. 1851. All permanent way, rolling stocks were transported from England in sailing ships to Calcutta via the Cape of Good Hope the Suez Canal did not then exist. In April 1854, it was estimated that over 100,000 tons of rails, 27,000 tons of chairs, and some 8,000 tons of keys, fish plates, pins, nuts and bolts were needed. Rolling stock By 1859, there were 77 engines, 228 coaches and 848 freight wagons. Sleepers Although immense quantities of sal tree wood for sleepers were delivered from Nepal, yet more were needed, thus fur sleepers from the Baltic were creosoted in England and shipped to India. <inaudible> <inaudible> bridges 
The initial plans were for the many bridges over the Ganges tributaries to be built of bricks, hundreds of millions were needed. Brick making skills were very limited and often the available clay was found to be unsuitable. Transport by river of suitable clay was difficult. Brick availability became a major problem, such that the decision was made to use vast quantities of ironwork, imported from England as India had no ironworks at that time. Much ironwork was stolen during the Indian Rebellion of 1857. Construction work of Old Yamuna Bridge in Delhi started in 1863, which was popularly known as Lohe Ka Pool, bridge made by iron, and completed in 1866. It is a 12 span bridge. Construction cost of the bridge was 16 rupees, 16,335. Initially, it was made as single railway line and it was upgraded to double line in 1913. Topic 1854 to 1863. Topic Line Openings. In 1853, the first railway line between Bombay to Thane, 32 kilometers stretch, was opened. It had 14 coaches and was driven by three engines. The 541 miles 871 km of line from Howrah to Banaras were opened to Huli 37 km or 23 miles for passenger traffic on 15 August 1854. More than 3,000 applications were received from the people wanting a ride in the first train in eastern India. The first train ran to full capacity. The train left Howrah station at 8.30 am and reached Huli in 91 minutes. It had three first-class and two second-class coaches. It also had three trucks for third-class passengers and a brakeman for the guard. All of these were built in India, because the ship ferrying the original coaches from England had unfortunately met with natural disaster in the high seas and consequently sunk. The locomotive however was imported, though not without its own difficulties. The ship bringing the locomotive had initially, due to a navigational error, had sailed to Australia, and had to be re-routed back to India. During the first 16 weeks, the company was delighted to carry 109,634 passengers, 83,118 third class, 21,005 second class and 5,511 first class. The gross earnings, including the receipts of a few tons of merchandise were £6,793. Pundua on 1 September 1854. Burdwan in February 1855. Ranaganj with its coal fields on 3 February 1855. In 1855, 617,281 passengers were carried and contracts were made to carry 100,000 tons of coal from the Ranaganj colliery to Howrah. Ajay in October 1858. Rajmahal on the River Ganges in October 1859. The first train ran from Howrah to Rajmahal via Kana, presently known as the Sahib Ganj Loop, on the 4th of July 1860. 1,388,714 passengers were carried in 1859. Bagalpur in 1861. The loop from Kana Junction to Kiel via Jamalpur, including the Mongir branch in February 1862. In the same year the line reached Mughal Sarai via the present line beyond Kiel. The sections from Lucky Sarai to Danapur and Danapur to Mughal Sarai was completed in the meantime. Sun River. George Turnbull inspected the Sun Bridge and judged it complete on 4 November 1862. Across the River Ganges from Banaras in December 1862, including branch lines this totaled 601 miles 967 kilometers. <laughs> Bridges, tunnel and cholera The most significant bridge was the Gerda Bridge over the Sun River then known in English as the Sone River which at the time was understood to be the second longest in the world. Other significant bridges were the Gerda Bridges over the Kiel and Hullahar Rivers and the Masonry Bridge over the Ajay. The Mongir Tunnel was a challenge. 
In late 1859, a horrific cholera epidemic in the Rajmahal district killed some 4,000 labourers and many of the British engineers. Celebrations on completion On 5 February 1863, a special train from Howrah took George Turnbull, the Viceroy Lord Elgin, Lieutenant Governor Sir Cecil Beden and others over two days to Banaras inspecting the line on the way. They stopped the first night at Jamalpur near Mongia. They alighted at the Sun Bridge and inspected it. In Banaras there was a Durba on 7 February to celebrate the building of the railway and particularly the bridging of the Sun River, the largest tributary of the Ganges, the chief engineer responsible for all this construction from 1851 to 1862 was George Turnbull who was acclaimed in the Indian Official Gazette of 7 February 1863 paragraph 5 as the first railway engineer of India. Topic. Criticisms Some historians like Irfan Habib argue that because the contracts signed between East India Company and AIR in 1849 guaranteed 5% return on all capital invested, initially there was no inducement for economy or for employing Indians instead of high-paid Europeans. Air was stated in 1867 to have spent as much as 300,000 rupees on each miles of railway. The construction described by a former finance member in India as the most extravagant works ever undertaken. Topic: <laughs> Later 19th century developments. The line from Kanpur to Allahabad was opened in 1859. In 1860, the Kanpur Etawa section was opened to traffic, and between 1862 and 1866, all gaps between Howrah and Delhi were filled and the connection to Agra was built. The bridges over the Yamuna at Allahabad and at Delhi were completed in 1865 and 1866, respectively. In June 1867 the Allahabad Jabalpur branch was completed and a connection made at Jabalpur with the Great Indian Peninsula Railway, thus completing the rail connections between Calcutta and Delhi and Calcutta and Bombay. On 31 December 1879, the British Indian government purchased the East Indian Railway Company, but leased it back to the company to work under a contract terminable in 1919. Topic: 20th century developments. On the 1st of January 1925, the British Indian government took over the management of the East Indian Railway and divided it into six divisions: Howrah, Asansol, Danapur, Allahabad, Lucknow, and Muradabad. On 14 April 1952, Jawaharlal Nehru, the Prime Minister of India inaugurated two new zones of the first six zones of the Indian Railways. One of them, the Northern Railways had the three upstream divisions of East Indian Railway, Allahabad, Lucknow and Muradabad, while the other, the Eastern Railways had the three downstream divisions, Howrah, Asansol and Danapur and the complete Bengal Nagpur Railway. Topic. See also History of rail transport in India The Richard Strachey Bridge